all right correlation now what is correlation correlation is all about which is explaining the relation between the two different variables right uh, quite simple i think you have studied in economics demand and supply if i'll say demand automatic another expert another variable comes into picture which is supply whether you wanted to telling about the supply or not still that comes right so simpler simpler like uh, price obviously the values automatic comes all right so these are the things which show the correlation between the variables am i right these are the variables in economics especially in economics or in many places we have those kind of variables which have certain relation between each other and they are dependent they are dependent yeah they are dependent if that kind of dependency is there in variables which is we call the correlations correlations right mean they are having certain kind of relations like what are the correlations will be there there are three types three types of correlation we would have the first one is positive correlation the second one is negative correlation and the third one is no correlation all right so like if you draw the diagram between x and y variables please remember one variable will be the independent variables another variable will be the dependent variables now what are these independent and dependent uh, like a husband wife like if you talked about a housewife so the housewife is always depend on the husband so who is earning earner, earner is husband so husband is a independent variable all right who is depending on this the family your family or your wife is going to be dependent so wife is become the dependent variable that's i said supply if i'll say supply whatever supply you going to do so demand kaise ho gaya automatically demand may be increase may be decrease depend on supply if i say like this the supply is become independent and demand is become what dependent dependent on supply so these kind of things we have into the correlations so if you have the positive correlations this is my x this is my y so correlation will be like this straight forward if it is goes like this if you are drawn the diagram or uh, plot the graph between x and y your correlation would comes like this if it is this it is called a positive correlation what we call it positive correlations understand all right if this kind of graph is comes which is we call no correlation kundli match nahi ki bhaiya all right so this is what no correlations right and if it is coming like downside like this this is called a negative correlations is falling all right so these are the three different types of correlations and basically this can be done by the scatter diagram this is called a scatter diagram so correlation can be measured by the scatter diagrams there is a one uh, statistician which is called carl pearson carl pearson naam suna hoga they develop the correlations all right so many more different mathematics have developed this correlations so standardly we are going to use a carl pearson so likh lo ye ho gaya na aapki kitab mein bana hai aisa kuch nahi hai ha chalo badhiya hai of correlation next heading is coefficient of correlation which can be denoted by the r this is called a coefficient of correlations if you wanted to know what is the relation between the x and y or what is the correlation between the two different variables you need to be calculate the r and if r belongs to minus 1 to plus 1 if r belongs to minus 1 to plus 1 that means really they are having the correlation it can be a negative or it can be a positive right that means what the value of r can be a minus 1 or can be a 1 the value of r can be a minus 1 or can be a 1 but reality it not possible the r cannot be one positive one or r cannot be negative one we don't have that kind of perfect variables into the real world hai hi nahi aisa kuch bhi so that, that was we always like ki r is always lies between between minus 1 to plus 1 it can be like r equals to 
0.999 valid yeah if it these kind of answers comes yes what variable you have on those variable you have the correlations which is r equals to 0.999 if it is negative again it's if it is negative accept it because r is lies between the minus 1 to plus 1 all right okay go for the formula r calculation of r how we do the calculation of r so i just give you the formula so you can do the calculation yes or no r equals to write down summation of x into y या r इक्वल टू समीशन ऑफ x इंटू वाई डिवाइड बाय इसको ऐसे मत लिखो गबड़ जाएगा अब ठीक है बहुत छोटा दिख रहा था ना वो x माइनस एक्स बार इंटू वाई माइनस वाई बार डिवाइड बाय n n इंटू सिग्मा x इंटू सिग्मा y This is called correlations. Sigma x into sigma y. Sigma x and sigma y is nothing but the standard deviation of x and y. So what do we need to calculate? First, you need to calculate x bar. Then you need to calculate standard deviation of x. Then standard deviation of y. Then you need to do these kind of calculation. And then and then the r comes. And r has to be lies between minus one to plus one. If your r is more than the one, means you are doing the wrong calculations. Check it out your calculation once again. All right. So this is what we call a R. So shall we go for one program, uh, one question? It it will take a lot of time. Understand? But please remember this formula. It's useful only the case when the frequency is not given. Look at that frequency is not given. But when you have the frequency, what the formula is? The formula is going to be yes. बुक आपकी बुक में नहीं दिया गया है 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 आई टेल यू यूनिट नंबर ट्वेल्व यूनिट नंबर ट्वेल्व नहीं उसमें भी नहीं दिया ट्वेल्व में भी नहीं दिया 11 में भी नहीं दिया थर्टीन थर्टीन क्या थर्टीन या इज थर्टीन सी पेज नंबर टू एटी द फॉर्मुला इज गिवन टू यू दैट इज द फॉर्मुला x माइनस एक्स बार जस्ट लुक इट द फॉर्मुला x माइनस एक्स बार y माइनस वाई बार समीशन Divide by they have used a formula of complete formula of the standard deviation, right? But I substitute sigma x, so don't get confused. Sigma x means the formula of sigma x has to be used. If the frequency is given, you need to be into the frequency as well. In the case of frequency, what you need to do? You need to put here the summation f. You need to put a f here, and this calculation, this n is nothing but a summation f, and the sigma x is calculated by using the summation f x minus x bar. Whole square. That frequency formula you need to be add. If the frequency is given, understand how to calculate the frequency. Here this correlation coefficient. Are you able to solve out? Are you sure? <laughs> All right. So, jump to the next regression. Regression. You want to break? एक मिनट ब्रेक करने जा रहे हो अच्छा परमानेंट ब्रेक करने गए आनी वे इट्स बेटर लेकिन रिग्रेशन एनीबडी नो द मीनिंग ऑफ रिग्रेशन व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ इट Just getting back one step. 
बैक नहीं नहीं रिग्रेट यस यू कैन से रिग्रेट यस रिग्रेट इज द राइट वर्ड फॉर दैट सो रिग्रेशन इज नथिंग बट रिग्रेट रिग्रेट मीन्स वाई दैट्स यू लूजिंग समथिंग है ना टू हैंडल अदर थिंग्स यू नीड टू कम बैक लिटिल बिट सो दैट इज नथिंग बट योर रिग्रेशन फॉर दैट पर्पज वी नीड टू हैव दिस सो नाउ वॉट इज अर रिग्रेशन इन द रिग्रेशन वॉट वी नीड टू डू हेयर वी नीड टू हैव द टू डिफरेंट लाइन्स एंड वी नीड टू शो वॉट काइंड ऑफ रिग्रेशन अ को रिलेशन वी हैव बिटवीन दीज एक्स एंड वाई वेरिएबल्स सो हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू यूज द लाइन ऑफ रिग्रेशन सो जस्ट आपकी बुक में दिया नहीं पता नहीं मुझे लिख लो रिग्रेशन इक्वेश ऑफ एक्स ऑन वाई दिस इज कॉल्ड लाइन ऑफ रिग्रेशन सॉरी वाई ऑन एक्स देर बेसिकली टू काइंड ऑफ इक्वेशन वी डू हैव द फर्स्ट इक्वेशन विच इज वी कॉल्ड द रिग्रेशन इक्वेश on y of uh, y on x and the second one is x on y all right by mean of these two particular lines we are going to judge the relation between the variables right which is we are doing with the correlations this is again the way you can also judge the relation between the x and y by, by mean of the lines right so let's have a formula formula likh lo it would be directly should i go formula otherwise problem ho gaya na ओके okay, तो दो चीजें पहले आप लिख लो जब भी आप लिखना चाहते हो सो स्टैंडर्ड है ये पहली चीज समीशन ऑफ वाई इक्वल्स टू एन ऑफ ए प्लस बी ऑफ समीशन एक्स दिस इज स्टैंडर्ड एंड द वन मोर इक्वेशन वी डू हैव समीशन ऑफ एक्स वाई ए ऑफ समीशन एक्स प्लस बी ऑफ समीशन एक्स स्क्वायर दिस इज लाइन ऑफ इक्वेश बट सम दिस इज जस्ट वाई ऑन एक्स बट समाइम द स्टूडेंट डोंट डोंट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट डज मीन ऑफ इट एम राइट है ना देखने में कितना खतरा लग रहा वो क्या क्या लिख दिया पता नहीं सो वी आर गोइंग टू रिप्लेस विद इन न्यू वन बिकॉज इट्स रियली कॉम्प्लिकेटेड टू अंडरस्टैंड सो वी आर गोइंग टू रिप्लेस दिस विद न्यू वन राइट विच इज जस्ट राइट ऑन and where we are going to use the x bar or y bar means arithmetic mean we are going to use for the calculation of line of equations so first one yahi hai isme hi hai bas usi mein main aage add karwa raha hu aapko book mein bhi nahi diya re all right likho y minus y bar इक्वल्स टू वाई माइनस वाई बार इक्वल्स टू आर सिग्मा एक्स सॉरी सिग्मा वाई डिवाइड बाय सिग्मा एक्स इन ब्रैकेट एक्स माइनस एक्स बार दिस इज माय फर्स्ट इक्वेशन व्हिच इज वी कॉल द लाइन ऑफ इक्वेशन वाई ऑन एक्स राइट This is first equation, which is we call line of line of y on x. Now this way you can calculate the things, right? Simply, x and y is not going to be changed because they are the variables, fixed variable x and y. Because whatever line you are going to make it out, the line will be in terms of x and y. All right? Uh, I think uh, ten standard we have studied this kind of equations. Y equals to. Shayad kisne padha hoga? एम एक्स प्लस सी पढ़ा सब इंजीनियर नहीं पढ़ा होगा <laughs> ये ये टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड में है स्टेट लाइन का इक्वेशन होता है सो दिस इज जस्ट फॉर यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस इज व्हाट वाई एक वेरिएबल है एक्स इज अ वेरिएबल्स वेरिएबल सी इज अ कांस्टेंट एम इज एम इज एनी अदर वैल्यू एनी इंटीजर वैल्यूज एनी फ्लोट वैल्यूज ऑल्सो सो दिस इज these kind of equations comes here also if you going to sort out these problems what are things this y and this x would not going to be change means you don't have any other values of x and y your final line of equation will becomes in terms of y or x understand maybe it's equals to y equal to something because y on x and r r you need to be calculate or maybe the given 
may be the given or you need to be calculate if it is given the question will be for 5 to 10 marks if it is not given the question will be for the 20 to 25 marks then standard division still it's given or you need to be calculate so standard division for the y divided by standard division for the x and again x minus x bar x bar you need to be calculated and y bar you need to be calculate after substituting all the values you need to make one equation understand after substituting all the values except x and y substitute all the values get one equation and which is we call the equation number one all right now another equations second equation which is x minus x bar equals to r sigma x divided by sigma y y minus y bar this is a line of equation which is x on y see interchange they go just what are the changes here instead of y x comes here instead of x y comes here y is upper bar y and denominator is x just reverse it and r will be as it is right again you need to substitute the values of sigma x sigma y x bar y bar and again make one more equation which is called equation number 2 and then sort out these two equations all right to aapko phir answer milega then you will get a x or y sorry all right sometime okay abhi likhna ek aage likh lena this is this this part or this part ye jo gole lakha na maine this is basically uh, is known as this is is known as regression coefficient of x this one hai eh? 